Hello everyone, this is a short video on how to use LP Assistant when you want to add a new variable and a new constraint. This feature will be useful in particular in uh, the example we have in um, chapter 6 and video 4. So let's get started. So in that example we now put in already the initial tableau which is here and then we click on pivot and we go through the pivoting process. So we see that here, this column, that's where we pivot. After I've done that, here's this column, then there's where you pivot. And then you see you have the final tableau. Okay, and now um, this is an integer programming problem. So these are non-integer. So we would form a constraint um, using this tableau. So the constraint is formed um, in the previous video, so we wish to add that in onto the final tableau. So instead of um, retyping in everything, you can use the feature to say, I make a new problem from this untitled problem one. Let's click on that. Okay, so here you see, now I have a new untitled problem. Let me move it a bit up here. It takes the final tableau of the previous one. Now we can put edit. Mm -hmm. Once we've done that, and we see we need to add a new regular variable, and then we need to add a constraint. Okay, so let's put in the constraint for the black one this 0, 0, negative 1 over 3, negative 1 over 6. And one and uh, negative one over two and then here x5 is the basic variable and now you can do pivot and now we are using the um, dual simplex so I would choose that so what it does is it will show you the different ratio that you would need okay so I will I will pick this row to pivot and between these and these, which one should I do? Let's see if you hover over and you see here under ratio, it shows you the ratio. So you want to pick the big one. So this will be the one you pivot and you click on that and then you see you're done. Okay, you can put back to the simplex one. Then you see the X variable, I mean X and Y, just the name. So now you see you have this all positive this all positive so the optimum one is reached but it's still not integral so we actually will have to do this one more time so let's see i have untitled problem four being selected i go to problem i make a new one from this one and then you see i have a new one taking the final tableau let me move it a bit up here from the previous problem so then click edit and i will add a new regular variable and add a constraint. So let's put in that constraint that we have uh, figured it out. So here is negative 3 over 4 and 0 and 1 and negative 3 over 4 and here x6. Okay and then let's choose pivot and that's the dual simplex. And actually here's simple because that's the only one. So pivot on that. And then you see now you get the final tableau. You're done. And uh, the solutions are integral. And, and here are all positive. So that is the solution for your integer linear programming problem. Okay. So hope uh, this is useful. And uh, enjoy. And I'll see you next time.